All right, guys, what's up? Today, as per a request in my Discord, which you can join somewhere, we're whipping out the Moonin today, aka the Hugin. Not in the slightest. Dude is rocking the Jake gauntlets on Fenrir Mordex. You cannot get more cursed than that <laughs> as far as skin setup comes. Anyways, <clears throat> I came into this year on the Moonin, actually. I was... I played Moonin in Winters, didn't go good. I got nine Twitches, obviously not good. Um, but do like the pick, I think. I think actually Godly played Moonin in one of the EU majors and won with her. So, you know, the potential I saw was real. I've just, n I've played Scythe a lot actually, but I've never found, like, that much success on Scythe outside of twos. Like, I got, I think my best Scythe performance ever was I got, like, second in an online tourney and third in a LAN, which is not great. So, you know, Scythe has just never been my weapon. That doesn't make it not fun, though. Like, weapon is obviously extremely satisfying to play. It's the reason why it's the most popular weapon by far. It's just the combo game on Scythe, the creativity that you have on Scythe, it's all very, very cool and fun. Hoping for another weapon that's like Scythe in terms of creativity, but also not like... So I think Greatsword is a lot like Scythe in terms of creativity, but it doesn't feel as satisfying to play because, you know, it's pretty much only on the ground where you get that, like, level of creativity and free-flowingness. And then on the air, you feel like you're actually just playing in Molasses when you play Greatsword. It's definitely remedied a bit since they did the recent balance change because they dramatically buffed Sarah and it doesn't feel that bad, but I think conceptually still is nowhere near Scythe in terms of how much fun you have in the air compared to the ground. Like, I feel like on the ground you're going off with Scythe and in the air you're going off with Scythe. You're just always like in complete control on every hit that you get. This character... For some reason, I feel like I remember this character's stats being different, but six decks, I mean, six decks is not ideal. We talk about it a lot on the channel. All the professional players, all the people in the community talk about it. Dex is a very hit or miss stat. There are certain breakpoints that some weapons need to reach for a dex to matter a lot. Um, Scythe and Bow, they don't have any of those breakpoints. Nothing combo wise, at least. So like, you're not getting any new combo with dex breakpoints, you're just getting what dexterity does, which is, um, removes frames after you do a move, removes like, recovery frames, so, you hit a move, maybe it's like, you add an unjumpable string now, instead of a one frame jumpable string, which is something that very, very rarely matters, um, especially when you compare it to something more tangible, like strength, defense, speed, you know, you feel the impact of one defense, one strength, one speed all the time if you play the game a lot. But dex, you gotta play thousands of, of games to really feel the difference of one dex point. So that's why, like, dex is thought of as the weakest stat. Apart from a few fringe scenarios where dex is the most important stat because it adds a combo. For example, like, before they reworked, um, they mini reworked Qatar Sidelight to make it always through combo into D Light. You used to need like five decks to do Sidelight Dash D Light on Qatars. And in that case, you needed five decks to even play a Qatar Legend. And Queen Nye was completely obsolete because of that. Because you had to go down to like two speed or something to get five decks. Anyways, a bit of a tangent off, off topic of Moonin. But this character, you've kind of seen me in this game. Her sigs are very, very good. Especially, like, bow down sig. It's The sig, believe it or not, the sig used to be significantly stronger. Um, it's very good now. Having a stacked kill tool on bow is something that is drastically underrated. In fact, it's not even really a thing outside of this legend. It's at least not to the power level of Moonin's. Like, you have Diana bow D sig, but that sig is... Um, it's only really good on the edge. I guess it's kind of comparable, but it's a bit different. And then Koji doesn't really have something like this. I'm trying to think of other bow legends like Zariel Downsig. Zariel Downsig is nowhere near as good as Moon and Downsig. It's way too like it's slow. 
not as powerful, hitbox isn't as good, all that kind of stuff. But this one, not only do you jump up so you're safer, but it's also like the hitboxes. They're very forgiving, they come out quick. There's a lot going on with that SIG. Nice, I went down like 100 ranks because I won. Here we go, House of Greatsword. Let's just get absolutely railed, as I always do by these guys. House of Greatsword is just... You don't want to be on the opposing side of the House of Greatsword, let me tell you that. Maybe this guy is fine, he taunted at the beginning of the game, so... He's probably not too great. But never judge a book by his cover. It's cover. Sorry. Here we go. This guy's actually kind of destroying me already. But yeah, I don't know what I want to talk about for the rest of this vid. Something I saw people talking about on Twitter, which I'm not sure if you guys know about, is... Get the recovery here. He's dead. So, Brawlhalla implemented a change to high elo calculations. Um, once you reach 2400 now, your elo gain and loss is effectively one third of what it used to be. It's probably not exactly one third, but that's like roughly what it feels like from what I've seen people tweeting about. So you're where you previously would gain like um, like 20, now you gain like seven. So I've seen some people complaining about that, and I think it's an interesting thing to talk about because. Recently, especially in the last year, I'd say, of, of Brawlhalla ranked seasons, you've seen people consistently hitting, like, 3k, you know, the best players in each region, they're gonna hit 3k. Even last season, I think somebody hit, like, 3.1k, and looking at that as a new player, and even as a top player, it's always been kind of weird, because, you know, people start, or, like, what you're supposed to start at has been 1200 elo, and there being players that are more or that are farther away from diamond than you are when you start playing the game has always felt weird see like this is the problem with greatsword this guy is just like literally rolling his face on his keyboard and it's just working for him and people are going to tell you like this weapon is hard or bad it's just not how it is. Anyways, I think it's interesting because well, I gotta beat this guy. I can't let him get the best of me. I will continue this topic in the next game. Yep, get the dodge away. Here we go. Dang, I thought that would work for sure. Yep, can't just fall into him. Here we go. Alright, perfect. On one hand, you have that, which is what I was just talking about, that people are getting way too far away from Diamond, and they're reaching, like, way too high of numbers that are not necessarily indicative of the gap between, you know, of skill between players. Because, I mean, I don't, I'm not even sure if that's necessarily true. Like, okay. Is, like, what does ELO even mean at that point? This is getting philosophical, I guess, but... Not even philosophical, but like I don't even know. Is being 3100, is that the actual diff in skill? Like, is that fully representative? Or is that just because like this guy played a lot, you know? Is that just because there's so many people now in the pool that ELO is so bloated? Like, I don't know. I think it's fine for the ELO to be like crunched a bit. Because I think in fighting games, it's not like chess if fighting games are not chess where like the best player is gonna win like literally 99 percent of the time you know like you can have one off game in brahala and then you're losing like all those pointos like that's not cool i guess it's kind of the same in chess and that's why they changed it to it maybe there's a you know i don't even know i i'm literally like trying to th piece together some coherent thoughts but I have nothing in my brain so let's just abandon that back to Moonen this guy's on the great sword I've dodged in like over and over but we're chilling all right we're gonna weapon starve okay get the spot dodge JK I didn't turn around get the dodge in he didn't dodge in 
gonna just run at him here. He has no dodge. We're chilling. GCD stick for funsies. He has no dodge. That was a clash somehow. I, mean, I feel like one of us should have won there, but that's all good. He only has recovery. There, ground pond. Perfect. We're just gonna leave all that discussion in the past. Ignore I said anything. I've kind of collected my thoughts. We found a Valhallen. That's kind of cool. I think what I was trying to say and what I am saying now is that I think Brawlhalla is, and fighting games in general, are kind of like chess in the way that, like, the better player wins the massive majority of the time. Like, almost all the time, the better player is going to win. Because it's 1v1, you know, there's pretty much no variables, it's just skill. Um, obviously, since it's a video game and, like, Brawlhalla has some aspects of RNG-like weapon spawning, I think it's fine to, like, reduce this and make the grind longer and like make the number number gain and loss less i think it's fine so we're gonna leave it at that i think it's good but i saw a lot of people complaining about it for me it's never been like oh my number is so big let's go my pp is big because my number is big like i'm just trying to be rank one i don't care what the like e actual elo number is that doesn't really matter to me perfect I dodged the wrong way one time in orange and die. Perfect. Like, thank you. Thank you for gracing me with the presence of this uh, amazing weapon that I love fighting so much. Wow. Anyways, perfect. I dodged the wrong way again. GG. I hate Greatsword. Greatsword is like actually the game on easy mode. That is my honest opinion. I hate Greatsword. I've, I've always hated Greatsword, like fighting it. Okay, dodge down. He has no dodge. Okay. I thought... He didn't have recovery there. Not gonna lie. We're good, though. Side sig. We're good. Need, like, one good hit. D-sig. Yep. D-sig is a cheat code. We're chilling. Maybe I'll rock with the scythe here. Catch the landing here. Perhaps. Guard the weapon. Nope. Do neither of those, I guess. Ooh, he dodged up. I should have just sent him forward there and done the really long string. Okay, he's going for greatsword. We are not going to let him get that. Weapon throw. Keep starving. He's, like, not really doing anything. He's just running around. Wait for him to attack, but he doesn't really have recovery frames, so it's going to be hard. Probably could have done the long string again there, but it worked out for me. GC. Oh, no. Okay, I need to be very careful. Dude, I knew he was going to spot dodge, but I, I chose the wrong option. Be sick. Oh, am I just dead? Nope. Okay, I'm good. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Uh, I think I'm dead. Nice. I'm dead. Perfect. Thank you, Greatsword. Nice. I don't want to rematch this guy, but I will. Like, it actually triggers me because there's been this agenda being pushed for so long that Greatsword is like this bad weapon, needs buffs, it's hard, like all these things. And it is just the biggest lie of all time. Greatsword is one of the... I think Greatsword is kind of like Katars in the fact that if you are good with your movement in the game greatsword is like one of the easiest weapons to be a pro player with because pretty much everything it does like all the things that are good on greatsword they like kind of play the game for you like if you hit a sidelight you know exactly what you're going to do you're doing the exact same thing every time and you get this like massive string off of it and it's like you're kind of just going for 50 50s like they either dodge in and you're reversing it or they don't dodge in and you're like chase dodging forward and continuing it but people will tell you this weapon is like some unholy, godly, majorly difficult weapon to pilot. And it is simply not. Anyways, enough about Greatsword. Let's win this. I'm not going to let this 9-speed Mako man take another game off me. Show what the Moonin is capable of. Okay, he dodges up away. Okay, we're chilling. He dodged up again. 
He dodged you down. I'm dead to like so many moves. Oh, I, I tried to dare there, but since I was on the platform, I just ledge canceled, unfortunately. Now because I'm unarmed against Greatsword, I have to like take a massive amount of time. Because the matchup is insane for Greatsword. Okay. Dead guard. There. Boom, he's dead. Perfect. We're chilling. Okay. Okay, I dodged the wrong way again. Maybe I should have dodged in there because he would have ran out of space or something. Oh, okay, I'm getting edge in. Yep. And people will tell you that Great Sword is bad off stage. That's another lie. Oh man. Just lies all around. Okay. Side sig. Okay, it's like kind of a lie and kind of not a lie. Greatsword from above is like literally one of the best weapons at edge guarding. It's insane. Like Greatsword Dare is one of the best edge guarding moves in the entire game. But Greatsword does have a tough time recovering occasionally. If you really want to convince yourself that it does have a tough time recovering. Like th this. Alright, next game. Alright. Last one. My honest advice is, is if that you are a plat plus gamer and you want to achieve Valhalla, is pick Greatsword. I honestly think Greatsword and Katars are the two easiest weapons to get uh, this rank with. I think everything is just so much easier on those two weapons. Oh, that was a big commit. Okay. He dodged in. Get the punish. Side sig. He's not dodging in off off stage really. Okay. Okay, we're good. Dodges were bad there. He dodged down last time, that's why I went for that again. Okay, on the recovery. And I'm dead. Perfect. Not good. Boom. I'm kind of going off on him right now. Just kidding. Move is the size of, like, the sun. And the moon. Combined. Which is mostly just the sun, but whatever. Oh my god. Not this again. We are not vibing right now. We are not vibing in the slightest. In the slightest. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Can't be losing a 9 speed Mako, I mean. That's just it's unacceptable. Can't be happening. Gonna desig here. Gonna hit him with a dare, probably. Yep. Let's bring this one home. Not losing to a great sword player. Just not gonna how it's gonna go down today. Okay. Oh, that was kind of a lucky end light there. Okay. He's just gonna keep spamming side light and unpunishable moves because he's a great sword. Okay. Okay, it's there. Yep, and then he's gonna spot dodge after every move because he's a great sword player. That's good stuff. Yep. Okay. Yep, and then I'm just dead because he's playing Greatsword. Perfect. I love Greatsword. This game is so fun and good. Alright, I have decided that I'm going to 3-stock this guy and then leave the game. Ult F4. Just to massively assert dominance, because... 
Yeah, I lost to him four times. I mean, that's just four L's in one night. Good, 2200. That's a mat. That's like, that's like 50 L's all in one. So it's time, unfortunately, for this guy. It has to be done. Okay, he caught my dodge down, which I have not done one singular time all night. He just was reading my dodge down spot, dodge, jump, no jump. Yep, all at the same time. Maybe two stock is good instead, actually. Okay. Okay. Yep. He spot dodges, but he just does side light and it moves his whole hitbox randomly. Hurt box, I mean. My bad. Okay, he's done. Maybe we can still three stock him. Oh, he read my jump, dodge up, dodge up away, dodge to the left, dodge down away. All at the same time. That was good. And he spot dodged. I actually don't know how I read that. I don't know how I read that spot dodge either, to be honest. Oh, he read my jump, dodge up, dodge up, away, dodge up in. That was all good. All very good. Oh, he read my jump. Yep, you guys get the gist. That's really good. Alright, he's done. Perfect. I don't like Greatsword. I don't know if you guys can tell. Alright, he's dead. And I'm out of here. Alt F4 of the game. Hope you guys enjoyed me losing my mind fighting Greatsword. Have a good one. Peace.